Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Worst effing gamer here, and we are playing some epic summoners, guys. Who's ready for this awesome video? Because we are about to get another 10 star hero into the account, guys. Another new hero that we're playing with. Now, let me break down what's been happening, you know, in the last months because I haven't made a video in a while. But check it out. I've been really working on my team hardcore. I've got my human team huh, pretty set. Four Captain Hooks ready to rock and roll uh it's they're looking amazing i'm loving that team loving using that team cleo is very underrated on that team all right make sure that you guys if you are new and you're trying to run a human team cleo is really 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 you know important uh not only does she you know with her ultimate she's going to petrify 30 percent chance to petrify one hero right which is going to help out your captain hooks but her other ability here when she dies, there is a 30% chance that she will petrify all enemies for one round, all right? Which is pretty, pretty cool. 30% chance each hero. So it really comes into, uh, you know, play when you're running a Captain Hook team. Because you guys already know, it deals 135% damage to all enemies. And it has a 35% chance to petrify them as well. But uh, this ability here deals an additional 180% damage to heroes that are petrified, all right? So it works really, really nice. A lot of team synergy going on there, you know, with my human team. So I'm loving using that team a lot. The second team that I've been, you know, trying to max out is, well, it kind of changed a little bit because I started running, I started running a dual dungeon and barbarians, right? And I didn't really like how I was playing out, right? So I didn't like my dungeon and barbarian combo there. So now I have decided to go back with my original goal and if you remember a while ago my original goal was to do a whole you know dungeon team so that's what we're doing guys so i've got um, my guardian f2 and i got two hawkeyes already ready to go and then i also have uh, this guy treat those are my first ever 10 star dungeon hero here so uh what i'm planning on doing now is possibly i might have to just swap out my barbarian kings two of them for two more Hawkeyes, that's kind of the goal. Two more Hawkeyes, get four Hawkeyes on a team, and then eventually five. Uh, a lot of uh, grinding, though. A lot of grinding for that. So I'm not sure about what's going to happen with that team. They're still grinding away at that. But right now, we are going to be getting another 10-star hero. This is the Death Envoy. I'm pretty sure I'm ready to go. I've got most of the pieces we needed. So we got a six-star hero there. I'm going to need four there. I got a lot of them here. I need... A Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to need? I'm going to need one more 6-star hero. And I got a 7-star hero ready to go. All right. So all we need to do is fuse one more 6-star hero. And uh, I've kind of, you know, I can do all that because I've been saving my resources. And the last event that we had, let's take a look here. Right now, the events are fusion events. So as you can see, I've already done 6 6-star six heroes and 2 5-star heroes. So I'm going to have to work on that a little bit more. Advanced wishes. Actually, let's do a few more advanced wishes. I've got enough to actually finish this off. But you don't want to roll them all at once, guys. Don't forget, don't go crazy with the advanced wishes. You can wait. Ooh, actually, I got to wait five more hours before I can refresh. Because, see, I've already gotten my blue obs obsidian stone here, which means you don't have a chance to get another one. What you want to do is refresh, you know, because these items that you're going to get down here are really important. You can either get the book, you can get this uh, blue stone. You can get a lot of different stuff here that are really, really crucial to the game. So what you want to do is, if you do get one of those, refresh again and then wait to see what happens next, all right? So we'll wait on that. I got enough stones to finish this event here. So let's go back and take a look at what the heck we're even going to get here. So I got to do 150 pulls, but it's not exactly 150 pulls because each pull you use 8 stones for 10 pulls. So in total you need 150 wishes, right? So that's a 15 spins and it's eight per spin so 15 times eight is 120 right so you need 120 yes so you need 120 total stones to be able to complete this event here but then look at this you're gonna get three and three not six more blue stones obsidian stones there which is really good and all this rest of the stuff is all bonuses look at all these that's how i get all these heroes guys i save i save a lot of these all right now let's go back let's go back um, let's head over to what we originally came here for. Actually, let me do a couple of these here. Wow. And my goal right now is actually looking pretty good. I'm at 200 something million. Because I haven't really worked on any hero lately. I've been saving the gold. I didn't really have to work on anybody. 
Last time we had our fruit exchanges. I went all out on this faction, guys. All right, that's why I have so many pieces here. I literally went, I think, 160 fruits uh, swaps. So that's why I got so many different things here. But so the next goal, as you can already tell, is to go for this faction. I completely forgot the name of this faction. Was it Dark? God, I forgot the name here. Elemental Humans Saints. Ah, is it Dark? I. This is the only one I don't know. Barbarian. Death. For some reason, it's escaping my mind right now. You bastard. Either way, that's not important right now. What's more important right now is what, who, which hero we're going to six star. I mean, I can go with this one. It's going to be a sacrificial lamb either way. Let me see. Yeah, let's go right here. Let's go with the Night King. Why not? Okay, no, not these guys. Uh, who am I going to sacrifice? Let's kill you. Uh, let's do you and you. Yeah, we'll wait on these guys. Boom! Fusion! All right, last piece that we needed right there. Take that. Actually, let's claim our prize. Two more fruits. Nice. That's fruits. And don't forget, that's where you get those stones as well for spinning, guys. Really, really important. Must save your resources. Gotta be really patient. Patient, patience. All right, now let's get to it. Let's get to it and do it. No, no. Oh, no. Gotta sacrifice a lot of good heroes here. Not the best ones here. These guys are basic heroes. Let's get rid of them. Oh, no. I'm gonna get a six star plague envoy there. So I wanna save all the pieces for him. <sighs> plague envoy. I think a death envoy. I wanna save both those guys. I guess I can just do one of these guys here. I wish I still kept my night daughter because I had her at 10 stars, but I sacrificed her for a Captain Hook back in the day when I thought that that was all I needed. <laughs> Man, sometimes you don't rush into things, guys. Don't sacrifice heroes that you might need later on. But either way, the grind continues. I guess this is okay. Let's go ahead. Sacrifice these guys here. Those two there. And the last one here. That's it. Let's do it. Boyagasha! Mm. There we go. And uh, max this guy out. 140. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about here. My. What is this? My 11th 10 star hero, guys. The grind is real. What can I give him? Well, nothing right now, actually. Look, I gotta, I gotta work on this guy really hard. But he's not gonna be really, really used in my teams at all for a while there. You don't really need all these heroes right away. My main team that I use for my uh, guild, obviously, for a lot of different reasons. And then these ones for the arenas. But without having really a lot more, I could give them some items here for now. But let's leave it at that. Alright, so there you have it. This is the status of the account. Bam, what the heck? All this guy, all of a sudden he's at the top. My number one guy? That's impossible. How do they rank these heroes? By faction? I think it goes by faction, yeah. I thought it was gonna go by power, but it doesn't go by power, it goes by faction. That's why elementals will go first, and then, you know, dark ones, and then your humans, and all that good stuff. So, that's why they're positioned in that order. So, that's kind of the goal that I'm going for, guys. Oh, actually, let's talk about that update really quickly, because they did have an upgrade here, an uh, update. A uh, new batch of leaders has been released. Fire leader, plague envoy. Huh. Plague envoy. Paladin, a monkey king, blood spear, and inventor. Once a hero has evolved into a leader, it cannot be used for high star replacement. All right, that's 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 good enough actually. And the bug causing. All right, that's a bug fix. So two of these heroes I actually have. We have plague envoy. No, I don't. Never mind. And Paladin. Paladin for sure I have. Let's take a look at Paladin. But for some reason I keep confusing this guy. Death Envoy with Plague Envoy. Which is the other hero. Really similar. Completely different. So he cannot actually be considered. But this guy can. No he can't. Right here. Alright. So let's take a look actually guys. What is actually required for you to make a hero a leader. Because uh, this is my first 
hero that's actually even available that I can make into a leader. So let's take a look. Provide aura during battle. This will increase all of our heroes additional damage by 10%. Okay, uh, inflict 20% additional damage to non-leader heroes. Uh, provided aura during battle, our heroes additional... Wait, our heroes damage taken in will have a 25% potential to counter attacks, dealing 25... 100 more damage. What? Provided aura during battles, this will increase all of our heroes anti-control by 15%. Damage is reduced by 20 when attacked by non-leader heroes. After hero dies, aura will still be effect. Oh my god. That is awesome, guys. So, the problem is, I have completely inefficient stones. And the way to get these material is you have to sacrifice heroes. Now, let's go take a look really quickly here. And how you can do that. Forge. You gotta go into forge. Hmm. Never mind. Altar is where it's at, actually. Yes, you gotta go into altar, but you gotta go down here. Alrighty then. So, I believe uh, this works is you have to sacrifice enough heroes of that faction. So, my human faction is actually complete. So, I don't need these heroes. I can get rid of them right now. Right? Let's disassemble. I'm gonna try it out. Let's see what happens. My first disassemble here. All right, so. Hmm. Is that 20 pieces per hero that you, you sacrifice? So I got 40 of those, I got 12 of those, and then five of each of these heroes, but I'm not making these heroes five stars. That is the trick. Let's take a look at the shop here. Not available, coming soon. All right, now let's go back and let's see where we're at. Hmm. So I don't have 15. I have 40 of those. So one more sacrifice. But I need 12 sacrifice sacrifices of Paladin. Which means I need to probably make 3 more 6 star Paladins. Yikes. That ain't the easiest task guys. Wow. And then uh, we're probably in order. Once you unlock them I'm guessing. You're going to need a lot more stones. To keep sacrificing for him. Right. Yeah. That's how it's going to roll. And in order to unlock this whole thing, you're probably going to need to sacrifice a lot of heroes. So it's not easy. It's very difficult, but it could be worth it, guys. Once you make one of your heroes a leader, it looks like the... It looks like the stats are just so powerful. I mean, that's really incredible. Let's take a look at some of the other heroes if it shows. Because I'm not sure if... Let's see Fire Leader. Does it? No, it doesn't show. You have to have him at 10 stars in order for you to even be able to look at his leader abilities there so I can't even tell what the other heroes are gonna be because I don't have them at 10 stars this is the death plague right there yeah you cannot see so the only one we can actually do is paladin and I'm gonna kind of go all out paladin guys I'm gonna try to make this guy my leader looks like a lot so many good things right here those auras are incredible I mean more way more damage okay I like it I like it a lot so I'm going to end it off here, guys. I appreciate all the support. And I hope you guys enjoy your epic summoners playing. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.